Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up SAS files on Visual Studio Code and how you can use SAS on Visual Studio. So let's get started. Right now, as you notice, I have my Visual Studio Code open. And the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on the extensions here. And if I click on that, I'll see all of my extensions. So I have one extension installed here. And I'm going to search for this extension so i'm going to type in live sas all right so live sas and i'm going to install this one that says live sas compiler so just one click on it and it's by retwick day and what you'll need to do is basically you click on install and it will just install it all right so just wait for it to install the extension and now what I want you to do is that I want you to close this page and close this extensions menu too. So you'll be able to basically move the pointer here. And as you notice, as I move the pointer here, it shows me the arrows so I can click on it and collapse it. So that way I'll have no extensions here. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open a folder. So go to file, open folder. So on desktop, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to right click here and go to new. I'll call it SAS, all right? And now I'm going to click on select folder. And you see right here, it says, do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? So you click on yes, I trust. And now what you will need to do is that you will need to create a new file by clicking on new file. And now I'm going to save this actually. So I'm going to file, save as, and I'm going to save it in that folder. And I'm going to call it index. And I'm going to change the type to HTML. And I'm going to click on save. So now I have the index.html ready. And now the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to press shift number one. And now you'll notice that I'll have an exclamation. So now if I press tab, I'll have the skeleton of HTML5. So everything will be ready. And I'm going to just, you know, add a header one here. And I'm going to say, hello world. All right. And I'm going to add a little paragraph here that says subscribe, subscribe to my channel. So far, this is all HTML. So I'm going to save it. All right. So I have that there. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new SAS file. So I'm going to click on file, new file, and I'm going to change the language. So at the bottom right, you see I have plain text. So if I just one click on it, so I'll be able to type in SCSS and it will be a SAS file. So now what you'll need to do is that you'll need to save this. So I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'm, I want to make sure that it's in the same folder and I'm going to call it my style. And as you notice, the save as type is SCSS. So I'm going to click on save right here. You see, it says watch SAS. So if I click on it, it will basically watch my SAS. But before I do that, I'm going to the index.html and I'm going to attach a style sheet to this document. So I'm going to say link, all right, real, say equals to style sheet. So style sheet, just like that. So now I'm going to type in exactly the same name of my SAS file. So it's my style dot, instead of saying SCSS, I'm not going to attach the SCSS file, but I'm going to change it to CSS. All right. So now I'm going to click on save, go to file, save. All right. So I have my style.scss here and I have attached the style sheet here. So you'll notice that I have the style sheet and the href is my style.css. And now this is the SAS file. But before I type SAS, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on watch SAS here. And this is the extension that we just installed. So I'm going to click on watch SAS. And as you notice, it will show me this output thing. So I can basically, you know, move it down if I want. 
and it will just go away. So now, as long as it says watching, this will generate a CSS file. So I'm going to say dollar sign my color. So my color. So this is a variable name, colon, and I can set my, and I can set my favorite color to crimson, for example. See my colon. All right. So that's my color, and then I'm going to say font size colon. Let's say uh, 100 pixels. 100 pixels. All right. So now if I go to file, save, you'll notice that nothing will happen here. But if we look at our folder, you'll notice that we have a generated file. It, as you notice, it says mystyle.css. So if you open this one with Visual Studio Code, you'll notice that it says there is no CSS whatsoever. Why we have no CSS here? Well, because we have not selected anything here. But I can say, for example, age one. So I want to select this header one. So I can say, for example, age one. All right, so age one. So this is inside of the SCSS, by the way. And I can say, for example, color colon and instead of typing in a color here i can use the name of the variable so dollar sign my color all right so now if i save this file so go to file save so now if we look at my style.css you'll notice that it has added age one color crimson so now if we view this on a web browser so let's view our html so you'll notice that it has changed the color to crimson. So now let's go back to the SCSS. So now if I want to make any changes to my style, I'll not uh, touch the mystyle.css, all right? So we are not going to touch the CSS file at all. So we are going to basically close this and we'll be able to basically, um, you know, use the mystyle.scss to change our CSS file. So now we are going to set the font size to our favorite font. So I can say font dash size. So instead of typing a number here, I can basically use the dollar sign and my font size. So now if I save this, and if I refresh this one, you'll notice that it will be 100 pixels, all right? So now let's change the font size of this text or this paragraph. So to do that, what I can do is basically I can type in P because I have one paragraph, I'll be able to type in P. But if I had more paragraphs, I would have to be more specific. But right now, as you notice, I only have one paragraph here. So I'm just typing P here and it will select all of the paragraphs. So now I can say font dash size. So I'm going to say dollar sign font size. All right. So instead of typing in the number of pixels, I'm just using this variable. So now I'm going to save this. So go to file, save and refresh. So now you notice that we have updated our style sheet using the SAS file. So this is basically how you use SAS and Basically, what you will need to do here is if you want to upload this to a server, uh, you know, you will need to upload the index and the style.css. You will not need to upload the SCSS file because even if you, um, you know, if you upload this or even if you attach the SCSS file here instead of the CSS file, it will not run on the browsers because browsers don't understand SAS, all right? So what we did here is, you know, we just used this SAS file and we used an extension to generate a style sheet, all right? So you notice right here, we have generated the mystyle.css and right here, whenever we make a change to our SAS file, it's going to update our style sheet.
All right, everyone, so I hope this video helped. If you did not understand some parts of my video, you can always pause and rewatch the video. All right, everyone, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like my page on Facebook. So thank you for watching everyone and see you all in the next videos.